Hey guys, uh, just in the middle of the session here, um, a lot of people have been asking about visualization and how you can do that in the nets. For me, the best way is, doesn't matter what format of the game I'm playing, um, is just visualizing what would the bowler have and what field would he have. So if this is a red ball game, I'm playing in a test match against England, Jimmy's running in, my, my vision of the field, you know, might be uh, three slips and a gully, a point, no cover, mid off, um, mid on, they might have a catcher just here behind square, uh, and then fine leg. That would be my vision of the field, and then I try and set up my batting uh, for that field. Uh, and then potentially, as the session wears on, I then move the field myself, or go, okay, well, they would have gone to this channel, try to get me out, maybe caught behind. Uh, and then they've gone, okay, no, we're going to try and bowl a bit straighter now. So they might get rid of third slip and move him into another catching mid-wicket. Uh, and then push square leg back. Uh, they'll still leave cover open. And then all of a sudden, my game plan then changes. You know, I might take a different guard. I might move my guard from, you know, middle. Uh, and then triggering onto off to maybe moving my guard to middle and just triggering to the inside of off stump just because understanding that they're now gonna bowl a little bit straighter consistently because those catches, um, they're gonna try and bring in the LBW in those catches. Now for this particular session uh, of T20 cricket, it's all about <laughs> where, where are their five, five people out? Now for me, you know, the, the non-negotiable people might be, you know, you might have third man out, you might have fine leg out and then you might have mid off and mid on up or um, or you might have square leg up and and cow and mid on back. Now, depending on which five people are out, depends on what shot I'm looking to play and where I'm looking to score. Um, so for me, you just visualize that and then you try and play that shot. So if I think, um, if this field in particular has, let's say square leg up, and I feel like um, the boundary is too big and that's my best option, I visualize what shot I want to play. And, and that might be, you know, getting down on one knee and, and trying to sweep it over that mid wicket if I think they're gonna go slower balls um, and pick him up there. Um, or if they have fine leg up and I think they're gonna try and bowl a fast Yorker, I might look to ramp it over fine legs head. Um, so I think that's how visualization works. You visualize the field, and then in training, you try and match the shot that gives you the best value for runs. Um, so I hope that's a little bit of an insight into visualization and how you can add that into your training to make your training go to the next level. So just from a visualization perspective, I'm sort of anticipating there's a gap at mid-wicket here. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space and make sure I get it sort of just to the left of it on. So I shanked that a little bit, but the idea is to try and give myself a little bit more room so I can free my arms through that gap at mid on. So that's sort of where that boundary sits at the moment. Same thing.